What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Come check out the website, sign up for the forums. Uh, you have to sign up for the website to get onto the forums and not to read them, but to actually type back in them. If you're commenting below and, and having these conversations, come on and, and join the website. I'll tell you what, you'll, you'll actually love it. We have some killer admins over there, killer people putting... Uh, news all day long i get my news from there now when it comes to space news i go there every day we've got member one of our members is the news guy you know we've got todd who's our uh, pds <laughs> he's basically figured out this whole pds system uh and really really is has got some amazing quality photos out of it um, but yes you are looking at a blue crater on the moon like i promised you we were going to be going back to the moon now this is a very interesting crater. It's uh, called Ina or Ina. That's, I tried to figure out how to say it online for like a month. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this video for a long time and things just keep coming up, things keep coming up. Um, and you guys know how that is. So basically, let me read what Todd says to you real quick. Not that you can't read, but for those unfamiliar with the lunar surface feature, Ina, Ina, whichever, it's essentially a basin technically known as a crater lost, located in, let's see if we can get this together, Lacius Felicititis, did I get that right? Felicia Titus, that's what we're going with. An area of the moon geo geologically populated with ancient lava flows within the depression lies several round basalt hills. The Apollo 17 70 millimeter Hasbad frames, which these two are, are pulled up, both show the feature exhibiting a blue hue. The image below was cropped and processed from one of the versions of the NASA scan. So basically, he grabbed these from the originals. So check this out. Then we have other posts from the lunar module are the uh, LORC which was up there see Todd does his research he's, he's a heck of an anomaly hunter um, uh, and I've watched like he, he has progressed and progressed and progressed and our, and our buddy citizen Quasar over here he's like our news champion of, <laughs> and we have a lot of other good people over that, that come in here and, uh, and take a look at things um, but we've got all these versions which I've gone ahead and pulled up in you guys have these still yet? Anybody still got the uh, old red and blues? I tell you what, if you don't have a set because NASA put so many out, there I can send you to a website. I'm going to start doing that. If you guys have these, if not, order some. These these were some like fancy ones I bought for three dollars on Amazon. I was thinking about buying a uh, like a pack of thousand, but then I was figuring it'd be just to send them out to all you guys would probably cost more. You know footage than it would to have the our postage here to actually uh to run it for a while um you know the site hosting fees and things like that which uh you know the advertising banners help every once in a while they get in the way here and there but they do help uh, pay for the hosting bills and things like that i'm surely not getting rich off of my mars data now when i start putting my kitty cat stuff up no i expect that to be viral <laughs> <laughs> See how he breaks it down and then just brings us closer and closer. Well, some of these are just too amazing. So let me go ahead and uh, go through some of the stuff we were talking about. The the hue of it was just amazing. The blue tint. Now, it was seen first by the Apollo 15 crew. Now, it's not mentioned that it uh, in that. You know, all you can see it is in the black and white here. And let me pull it up here. Um, here are the actual frames from it. The these are pretty cool. I tell you what, the uh, LROC website is killer when it comes to things like this. Basically, it takes all these really high resolution images and allows you to to basically see them in your browser. And most people don't know this now, but the browser uh, views and things like that have some of the best quality. Um, like if you, uh, this is actually a little trick of the trade. If you basically zoom in with your browser using your command plus, which is going to, every time you hit command on the Apple when you're on this program, it, it bobs you out. But the algorithms behind that are much better than some of the even new Photoshop algorithms to make stuff big. So a lot of times if you're on NASA's website or on a website and you want to see it in big, use that uh, option plus. That whatever your your view zoom is, here it's uh, the Apple and plus. 
So, and then the other is the Apple and mine is to zoom back out. But here's what they took the picture of the first two times. So they weren't, you know, you don't get to see the blue hint, the blue tint, but they were black and white color film, or black and white film. So it wasn't, you know, color film. But they made sure they got it the second time around. Check that thing out, just the whole picture all together. And there's another blue hue over here. A lot of, uh, a lot of bright spots um, washed out. There's like this piece right here, but check that out. You have a little blue hue there, the blue hue there, and just kind of totally different. Now wait till you actually see up inside this thing. I mean, this this is just amazing. The LROC, this was I think the third, got some amazing pictures of it. And like I said, this is neat how close you can get in with just your browser here. Um, I mean, pretty amazing. And like my buddy Todd says over here, let me go back to what he was saying. He was putting up his full-size stuff. I think it was actually the last. That's the second one. Here we go. Here's the composite. Uh, there's the panorama right there that you can see if you get the uh, thing. So here we go. He had put in here one one time what he thought. I know he had it on here, the things he thought he saw. Because I wanted to go to them. All right. Okay, it shows the most of on a close-up, the areas surround the smooth basalt hills are what I find most interesting. There are sections that resemble square blocks or foundations with raised features on some of them that look like complexes and structures. Some objects resemble pillars with arrangements that remind us of Stonehenge. These are wall light features also present, open and closed in the images below in various sections of the actual, that's the frame number right there. All these will be linked in the description of the video. Plus, I'm going to put a link to here where everything's already linked in it already. Um, so, and that won't be going anywhere. But each step gets a little bit closer as he uh, brings up the fine. Does a great job when it comes to these, I must say. But this one's pretty intense. So let's go over to the preview and look at that one. I think that was four. So that's the most, well, the bottom part of it. Let's go to three first. Okay, so look how high, high resolution we're talking here. You can see the rocks that are around these. Now, this has got a lot of lava flow, it looks like. I guess that would made, what made the blue tint. It's just mind-boggling, pretty cool. And it's just to be out there like that. Like, they had, there's a couple of craters. One crater on the other side has a total uh, interesting view like that. But check out things like this, that, that triangle. Um, and remember, we're looking straight down on it now. Maybe not straight down on it, but we're looking down on it. So we're looking up at the top. Um, so something like this to me would be, you know, structure. Um, a beam, another one here. It almost looks like a triangle just laid out there on the ground. You do see what that kind of uh, top of the hill. Look at this. Here you've got what seemed to be one, two, three, four, and then another one laid out on top. So when he says Stonehenge type pieces, look, he's not kidding. And look how much brighter they are. They're like pillars that have been cut or something along those lines. Maybe not cut. Maybe that's just the material is totally different. Um, the moon is a very strange place. A lot of people don't realize that. I've got a lot of videos that I've done in the past. Um, the moon is carved up. It's beautiful. There is some sort of uh, mining going on there at some places. And even... Very, very, I, I should link some of them on those little card things to this video. Some stunning stuff that looks like, you know, art and things like that. But um, then again, who knows exactly, you know, when we think of uh, what, you know, what type of civilization was this our first civilizations. I'm not sold on the fact that uh, there wasn't a pre-civilization like in Atlantis here that had all sorts of uh, of various technologies and things like that now check this out here where it kind of comes in on here um, it's just interesting how it elbows out like that very cool and the pictures from the uh, from the database really do are just crisp and kudos to, to our buddy Todd for making this happen for us look at that Look at the perfect, look at that little circle there. You're right, I see exactly some of the stuff he's talking about. Let me see if I get the size of my little, yeah, right there in the middle. And it's dead on too. Look how the circle, the, 
the crosses hit everywhere it would on a circle. So that mound, it looks like a mound or something. It comes up to an edge. It's got a perfect little spot. Who knows what was done at these places, you know? So we we always think here in Earth terms. Like I said, this could be uh, part of our civilizations from a long time ago, or it could be something totally different. Um, there was a couple scientists came out recently said that if we discover some uh, life on other planets and things like that, alien life, we're probably going to discover some that's all technical, you know, all all machinery, you know, not biological. There's if there's that many places out there, that many uh, evolving planets with the same juice and the same, you know, the same fundamentals to make life. Who knows the amazing amazing things that have sprung up let's check out this one but all these I'm going to put in high like I said they're on the website now you can right click and download them they're all going to be there in high resolution just as Todd had them just as he put them up um, a link to the ooh that's kind of cool check out the that side of it I mean you really don't lose much resolution until you get up on there now this is the Apple Zoom right here, which can also do good for you. It's like say you get to a uh, like a spot where you feel like you've maxed it out. If you back up just a little bit, and then it's funny on all the edges is where you see these uh, where you see these pieces like that look almost like buildings, and that was what size a building should be. Perfect circle right there. Almost looks like a dome. Then again, could all just be, uh, you know, shapes, rocks, shadow, light. You know, the, what's a, I see what I see, you see what you see. But either way, this was, this was one I had to show you guys because of the beauty of it. A lot of people haven't seen this one um, or even knew it existed. When I saw the blue pieces of it, I was like, oh, my goodness. Let's see this. Did you see that right there? That that's kind of Stonehenge like. Almost looks like it's got a, a back back pillar, the front pieces. Very interesting. Look at that straight line right across there. Not that that means anything, but pretty cool. Once again, along the this part here. I mean, look at that. That's very interesting. Where did that go? actually got me uh, not talking that's first <laughs> as most people come here and say that, that oh, I just love to hear myself talk but some of this stuff uh, it's good to just let yourself get lost in it anyways guys I've got a lot going on right now a lot of just personal stuff going on but a lot of interesting projects coming up that's going to be cool you guys are going to love them um, some is going to, a couple of them are going to involve everybody. I'm going to need everybody's help. We're really going to be pushing for disclosure this year, especially since there's a, uh, uh, we could get it two or three different ways, uh, at least a, a, some sort of recognition. Make sure you get yourself some of these if you don't have them. Even the cheap ones work because, uh, yeah, like the ones that you can go buy a DVD and they've got three of them in there. But if you go to Amazon, you can buy a pack of 10 of the uh, cheap ones if you want or just you know, except one of these pairs and uh it'll do you good what's up here let me check this one little square out but that that tip about the uh resolution of when you're in this like when you're in firefox and stuff like i'm not kidding well it's going to turn the website into a uh I got my website responsive so if all of a sudden it starts turning into well, it looks like a cell phone or something. It'll start putting it that way, but let me bring it back out. That's so anybody with a cell phone, but look at that blue. I just go back to that blue and imagine what the astronauts on the uh, 15, when they, when they came around on uh, Apollo 15th and saw this, they got it good though on the 17th. Blue hit 
the blue tint and all so all right guys much love it's been a while sometimes i get rusty on these videos i've got some space news going to be coming up soon a lot going on um, just with the politics changing there's a lot of good space news going to be coming on i hope uh, a lot of more stuff's going to be coming because these new places we hit you can't turn the rover anywhere and not see something so the best will be coming. Much love to you guys. Check out the website as always. Thank Todd while you're there. Sign up for the website. I've said we don't spam you. If you don't come in and actually join in on the forums and stuff like that, you'll never hear from us again. I don't spam the, the people who sign up, things like that. It's just not how it works. We've got so many outlets on, you know, Facebook, things like that. I don't need to email you, <laughs> email you stuff. So, all right, guys, much love to you. I hope you're having a good one. If you're in the United States, hope you have a good Thanksgiving this week. And uh, enjoy yourself. Peace. Nope. Oh, peace.